Hey fellow knights, welcome to another episode of Not Life Games. Today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy XIV. Now I know that I started off showing you my, uh, my Rogalin character, but I just went ahead and got Heaven's Word, which introduces a new race, the All Raw, which is a dragon folk race. As you can see here, my new Lancer is pretty epic, and I'm so excited about him that, that I think I'm going to go ahead and make him my new main. So, I'm glad you guys got to see the introduction of the character creation from the last video. So you're not going to have to sit through that again. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump in and check out Heaven's Word with my new All Raw character. Alright, so I have decided to name my character Vain Deer, which is Old Norse for Handsome Beast. Confirm. Yes. Yes! No one has taken the name Handsome Beast. He is alive! Let's get into it. I'm so excited. Oh, I have been so excited about this game since two days ago. Now I'm excited again. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> I haven't been so excited about this game since I last played it, which was actually this afternoon. My eyes are cool. Muggles! This is already officially the best place. I get a Moogle a Moogle welcome on well, 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 well. I get a Moogle welcoming parter party. I'm so excited I can't even word. <laughs> I get a welcoming party made of Moogles. <laughs> Feeling better, Kubo? Wow, Gridania is beautiful. Another green adventurer, I presume. I'm actually purple. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. The Carlon Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Mion, I guess, Mother Mion within, and she will take you in hand. Alright. So... I can't dash in town. That's sad. Fine. Alright, so there we go. Mother Mion. Well, well. What have we here? A wide-eyed and wondering young adventurer come to put your name down at the guild, I assume. Welcome. Mion's my name, or Mother Mion, as most call me. And the Carline can Canopy is my place. As the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of it. Blah, blah, blah. As the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. Very well. From this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed of the elements and the bounty of the Twelve's Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Look what just arrived. A another adventurer. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very salve of Gridania's needs. The elder seed seer herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Of course not. Lest you forget, it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? Outsider. Ahem. Pay that outburst no mind. He meant only to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelve's Wood of late, you see, and the Wood Whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. This music is so reminiscent of, like, reminiscent of Lord of the Rings. It sounds like, um, The Shire. I love it. I feel like I'm in the Shire. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these introductory, introductory, let's go ahead and get these introductory missions out of the way.
Here we go. Jillian, the guild receptionist. Welcome to the Lancer's Guild. I see you brought your own spear. If you seek to refine your skills with the polearm, then you have come to the right place. Here at the Lancer's Guild, spear wielders gather to train with one another and further hone their abilities under the tutelage of our fine instructors. More than just an instrument of war, the spear is also a tool for hunting, and with game ever plentiful in the Twelve's Wood, the weapon has been the mainstay of the locals here since before the founding of Gridania. Yes, make me a lancer! Excellent. I shall let Guildmaster Ewain know to expect you. All who seek admittance to our ranks must present themselves before him. He will judge if you are fit to become one of us. Pray make your way to the training area within. Our Guildmaster awaits you there. Woohoo! Hi. Well met, adventurer. I understand you wish to learn the Lancer's art under our roof. I must be taller than him. Though you have doubtless brandished a spear before this day, I, and perhaps even in earnest, you still have a long way to go before you may call yourself a Lancer in sooth. In my capacity as Guildmaster, I shall guide your training, beginning with the very basics, the principles of our art. There exist myriad fighting styles, each of which has its own unique qualities, None, however, can claim to be offensively minded as ours. Well, that's nice. We're offensive. Arduous trials await you should you join our ranks. Knowing this, have you the resolve to wield the lance? Yes. 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 Well said, adventurer. I see no reason to deny, to deny you a place within our ranks. Ah, uh, but I neglected to introduce myself. I am Wayne. Master of this guild. I've decided that since this game is so huge and just the amount of things that you can do and all the quests and all of the side stories that's going on, the main focus of the recordings is going to be on the storyline. So, as you can see, I've already been doing a lot of quests. I have some new armor, I have a new weapon, I've got a lot of new uh, abilities. I'm already level 9, so I've been playing a little. Um, we're going to go ahead and get back into the main storyline now though so let's go ahead and jump into it and see what awaits us Mion wishes to send an adventurer to the instructor at the Bannock okay Veen have you visited the Bannock in your wanderings it is a training ground found just outside the city where the soldiers of the order of the twin adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters I mention this because an acquaintance of mine a gentleman by the name of Galfred is an instructor there and I think you may be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there is anything you can do to help. Mind you do not stray far from the path. The Twelve's Wood is no place for merry strolls through the underbrush. Alright. Sounds fun. Let's go check out the Bannock. Whee! Dash! Or sprint. Sprint! Sprint my dragon man! Sprint! Sprint faster! What kind of lancer are you? Get moving! That's my terrible accent. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh no, there's a there's a ledge there. Oh good, it wasn't that bad of a ledge. Okay, so here we are at the Bannock. Mm, just a training camp out in the middle of the forest. And here's Galfred, so let's talk to him. Greetings, Veen, dear. Mion sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I'm responsible for training our twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelveswood has much changed since the calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider, the Twelve's Wood is ailing. Its once rich variety is, fa is a fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer, will offer to aid them in their struggle. Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors, Veen Deer. Alright, sounds good.
Galfred, chief instructor at the Bannock, wishes to inspect your equipment and thereby gauge your readiness for future missions. Okay. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of level of item level five or above before returning to speak with Galfred. Okay. Oh, level eight. Uh oh, my britches. Alright, so I need to go get some pants. I gotta go put on some pants. All of this up to level fifteen is just basically preparing me for the main game. It's all solo stuff, but soon we'll get to start actually playing with other people. You would be surprised at how many young, promising soldiers get themselves killed by rushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armor. Your equipment, however, should provide the required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty, Bean. Alright, sounds good to me. I'm about to hit level 10 already. That's exciting. Alright, what you got for me? Ah, Bean, by your tireless efforts, you have proven yourself a friend to Gridania. I believe you can be trusted with sensitive intelligence. I am authorized to tell you only that it concerns suspicious activity in the Twelves Wood. Say that you will lend us your aid, and I shall proceed with the briefing. Good. Time is of the essence, so listen well. You will by now have heard that a suspicious individual has been seen prowling the Twelves Wood. And you may also be aware that Ixali activity has risen sharply in the region of late. What you may not know is that this increase coincided almost exactly with the first recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual. Suspecting a connection, we tightened our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor. Alas, our quarry is proving to be exceedingly elusive, almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time. But where whole units have failed, a lone adventurer may yet succeed. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry, Ving. For their sake, I ask that you aid us in this investigation. Nod, nod. You have my gratitude. With your help, I am hopeful we will, we will shed light upon this mystery. Begin your search at Life Men Stump. It is there that the majority of the sightings took place. Be forewarned, my people cannot offer you support, lest you... Lest our quarry catch scent of our presence and evade us yet again. Proceed with caution. I'm not scared. Not scared at all. Maybe a little scared. No. No. Lancers cannot be scared. There's no fear in the heart of a lancer. At least that's what I was told. Magic blade. Whoa, cool. Touch. You're about to enter an instanced battle. Instanced battle only battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed on the active help window before answering the call of duty. Let's do it. Proceed. Looks so cool. Look, someone's already here. Who's this? It's a Moogle. Uh, oh dear, is that a sword in the stump? Bad idea, really bad idea. It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know. Why, the first time I came to the Twelves Wood, Is we this almost our ended dark up as a stranger? Dinner, just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. It was all Papa Limo's fault, of course. No, no, not this no, one. He'd sooner not swallow his close. staff Keep and up. admit that he's wrong. That's funny. Hmm. You know him, Kublo Cop? But we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? It's adorable. It's talking to me. It's so cute. I want one. How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Sounds bad.
Kublo Cop seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? My guess is a bad guy. Ever since the calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. Oh, really? The slightest disruption to the etheric flow. And this sort of thing happens. This sort of thing? What is this sort of thing? Oh no, the trees are alive! With the sound of carnage! Ah! Oh, that looks bad. That looks bad. Okay, well, time, time to uh, trim the edges. It seems we have little choice. Combat. Oh boy. That could have gone better. What's this? A mysterious crystal. I should probably touch that. This seems like a good idea. voice again. Crystal Bearer. You talking to me? Who is that? Why, it's a floating rock. I am Hydaelyn. All made one. It's a talking floating rock. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm. Yet it has since grown dim. That doesn't sound good. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. Okay. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Sounds good. They're so glowy. It's a big crystal. Haha, <laughs> that's what my character said. By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for 
the light liveth in thy heart. Sounds good to me. Who's that? I don't know. And another one. Good to me. Whoa. Move it. Must have passed out. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Says you. Hmm. And what have we here? What? I didn't do it. Oh. I definitely didn't do that. Our culprit, it would seem, an Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. What's he doing sleeping? That they would venture this deep into enemy territory. The beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. But whose orders? This is Papalimo. We found How the are culprit. we feeling then? It was an Ixel Better? chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll see yeah, Brother sure. Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Ida? Giant oh, crystals? Loud, Can't say I've Much seen it. Are you sure you're feeling better? Understood. Over and out. So who are these people? Kuploka! Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Bow. Bow. Here is where we part ways. Till next time. Take care. Okay, sounds good. Bye, I guess. Mysterious strangers. <laughs> I look at him like, what's up with these people? I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. Sounds good. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> you don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? Yes, it seemed that way. Time will tell. I wonder what that means. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless you don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I like his monocle. I want a monocle. I have an eye patch, though. I want a monocle over my eye patch. That'll be awesome. That way I can be the world's wisest cunning rogue. Yes, this has to happen. I'm going to go ahead and pull this magic blade out. Alright, we pulled the sword from the stump. That makes me king of this realm, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it does. Okay, guys, that's enough for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, be sure to let me know. And if you guys play the game, feel free to comment and let me know. Um, if you play on this server especially, it would be awesome to see you guys on here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing army of knights. Until next time, we'll see you.